This video is to instruct the user how to use the RBT supervision within NPA Works. Please note, there is a nominal fee for the usage of this optional feature. If you would like to use this feature, please contact your support account manager to complete the necessary documents, set security settings, and schedule a training. Please keep the following in mind when using the RBT supervision feature. The RBT Supervision tab will only be displayed on staff members' appointments that have been authorized to provide supervision from within their staff records. These authorized staff members will be able to view service appointments for staff who require supervision and have mutual clients on their caseloads. Moreover, the supervisor will be able to view overlapping non-service payroll and non-service no payroll appointments for staff who require supervision. Now let's move on to using the feature. On the left side of MPA Works, highlight staff under your agency name so that the staffed list appears. Select the name of the staff whose appointments you wish to edit. To open the selected staff schedule, click the calendar with the red pin located on the top toolbar. With the calendar open, select the date of the appointment from the mini calendar and double click on the appointment you wish to view or modify the RBT supervision. At the top of the appointment, click on the tab named RBT supervision. Here you will see all overlapping appointments that fall under the previously mentioned RBT supervision parameters. Note, the RBT appointments will be organized by agency, with the supervisor's home agency appearing first. All other agencies will then be listed after in alphabetical order. The supervisor's appointment information, including the date and time, will be displayed next to My Appointment at the top of the window. You can view each overlapping appointment by clicking the Expand and Collapse buttons next to the agency's name. To see all agencies at once, simply use the down and up buttons located on the upper right side of the window. Next, use the selection checkbox to indicate if the appointment has been supervised or not. The therapist column will display the therapist's name and information about the appointment. If the selected appointment is an overlapping service appointment, you will see the client's name and service. If it's an overlapping non-service appointment, you will see the subject line from the therapist's appointment. The start time will display the start time of the therapist's appointment. The end time will display the end time of the therapist's appointment. Use the supervised minutes to indicate the amount of supervision time completed. This field is editable since the supervision time may be shorter than the duration of the scheduled therapist appointment. The last few sections are mutually exclusive. For both sets of options, you can only choose one. Select either face-to-face -face or remote to indicate if the supervision was completed by a face-to-face -face appointment or not. Next, select either individual or group to indicate if the supervision was done during an individual appointment or as a group setting. Then click OK to set your selections. Lastly, click on the Save button to save your work. Your RBT supervision has been completed on the appointment. If you have any questions about this feature, please contact our support team via email at support at codemetro.com or at 877-796-9883.